Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to this show. It's your girl here. My name is Raquel Blessed. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. And for my supporters, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you for working and supporting me. Yeah, so today I have a guest here, as you can see, in front of your screens. And she's going to introduce herself, herself in this moment. So, my guest today, kindly introduce yourself. And thank you so much. Uh, I'm Lucy Ngamau. That's how uh, many people know me. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Kenyan, but I live in Burundi, working with Mount Kenya University. I'm a teacher by profession. Uh, but in Burundi, um, I'm, I have so many hats. Uh, I'm here as a Mount Kenya representative. In Burundi, I'm also a lecturer. I also do marketing. Yeah, and we attend uh, all students, guiding them uh, customer care and also research. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Lucy, mm -hmm. uh, you have said that you are a teacher by profession and uh, you are teaching in Mount Kenya University. Can, can you tell us uh, the branch? What does it contain here in Burundi? Uh, in Burundi, mm -hmm. we are not a campus. Mm -hmm. We have what we call Odell Center. Odell is online. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more of distance learning. We call it online distance learning. Mm -hmm. uh, Odell, we usually admit students uh, online. Okay. In Burundi, we are purely online. Mm -hmm. But also, we usually recruit students who want to go to Kenya mm -hmm. and Kigali. In Kigali, we have our campus. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. and other campuses are in Kenya, the mother campus, Dika, Nairobi, mm -hmm. Mombasa, all these campuses are there in, Dika, uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recruit students to go there. Okay. We are also doing marketing. It, it is more of a marketing and uh, a student assistance or student support center. Okay. Yes. And now, uh, in, so it means in Kenya it is uh, physically they avail themselves, but it is only online. Yes. Okay. In, in Kenya they go study regular studies. Mm. We have evening programs, we have day programs, we have weekend programs. Okay. Yeah. But here in Burundi we only do online learning. Okay. Yes. And in uh, online learning uh, it entails uh, courses. Uh, we have selected a few uh -huh. uh, because, of, of course, online has modalities. Yeah. It, it requires those courses which are not uh, very technical. Mm -hmm. So we have selected a few which we feel students can be able to synthesize online. Mm -hmm. But of course, other programs will be uh, online soon. Mm -hmm. But we have just a few of them. Okay. But at least the majority of them that are not technical they are online like business courses mm. uh, social sciences courses mm. some it programs okay. like computer science ict mm. they are online uh, programs and also mba in masters we have mba we have master of public health mm. we also have monitoring and evaluation we have development studies mm. uh, planning uh, and ma planning management mm. And also we have uh, supplies, mm. yes. Okay, mm. and what are the basic requirements for you to become a student in uh, this university? Uh, for you to, be, to qualify to be a student, mm. of course, for example, if you're doing bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. you're required to have passed. Uh, in Burundi, we, we say satisfaction. At okay. least you have satisfaction. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, in French, I think they say satisfaction, something of okay. the kind. Mm. If you have that, you qualify to join our programs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have other things that we ask. For example, you have to bring us your uh, your all the certificate, the original uh, document. Yeah. We verify whether you qualify for the program that you are, are requesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we are applying for. Uh, we look at things like uh, diploma data. Uh, the transcripts, okay. uh, the high uh, high school diploma, mm. yeah, uh, and the transcripts. Mm. Then the, the passport, of course, the passport photos, mm. and the application fee of uh, twenty thousand BIF. Okay. 
yeah those are the minimum documents that we require okay yes. and uh, uh, how do you assist the students who might have felt in their high school programs uh, we advise them mm -hmm. for example if they failed mm -hmm. uh, they never got the 50 yeah. percent that we are talking about mm -hmm. we usually have such uh, certificate programs mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our, our requirements for bachelors are the same for diploma. Ah, uh, okay. So for diploma, they, if you fail for bachelors, mm. you cannot also do diploma course. Mm. But for cert cert certificate, it is okay, you can be admitted. Mm. You start from certificate, yeah. uh, then diploma, and then uh, bachelors. Okay. Yes. See, how else are you assisting the students here at Mount Kenya University? The good thing about Mount Kenya University is that we guide our students mm -hmm. career-wise. Okay. Uh, if they want to join us, for example, a student might come, mm -hmm. want to do a development studies, but we can see this student has potential in doing ICT. Mm -hmm. We advise them that, if, why don't you do this career? You are good in it, even the way you have passed, your mathematics, your English, you know, those kind of things. We advise them, mm -hmm. we give them career guidance. Uh, we also do CSR the corporate social responsibility in Burundi mm -hmm. and we focus so much on uh, learners secondary school or high high school learners that's why we focus so much we give them career guidance for free in a school that would like to have a talk we have a talk with their students mm -hmm. we go there and give them a free career talk that's what we do and we don't charge these schools whether international uh, whether uh, government school, we don't charge them. We give them for free. Mm. And the students are very happy about the program mm. because some of them even don't know what they're supposed to do when they, they finish their high, high school, school level. level. Mm. So it is something that we, we do mm. and we don't charge schools. Okay. These students, they can also even come to our offices and we guide them. Their parents will come here and they ask me, what do I do with my son? Uh, they want to do this program but i feel they are not qualified for this mm -hmm. we guide them and direct them this is what they're supposed to do okay yeah and i also can tell them uh, those who want to go to kenya i know they are stranded they don't know how to go there there are some who apply online and it takes a lot of time uh, to go to kenya uh, pass through our office okay. when you pass through our office it is usually quicker because when you said online, somebody might not see your application yeah. online. But when you come here, we send them direct to the admission department, registration department, and they process them very fast. Okay. Yes. How is the acceptance here? Do they accept online courses? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I should say that uh, initially when we came, there was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, that, that even the government then, by the way, they couldn't allow us to do online programs. Mm -hmm. and there was that uh, push and back. Uh, online programs, they are not, uh, they, they don't give the student what they need, they, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, with time, the government of Burundi, through the Ministry of Higher Learning, they have accepted, even in Burundi University right now, mm -hmm. we have a department there which is all offering online uh, learning. Wow. So eventually they have agreed that online learning is okay. Mm. Students can learn through online and yeah, I think now we are accepted and yeah. we can see students accept even our programs wow. because they are flexible. Mm. You can study from wherever you are mm. and especially for masters. Mm. Masters program I can say it has the largest acceptance. Okay. Because you see those people who are doing masters are already working. Mm. Majority of them are working. Therefore you don't leave Burundi, go study in Kenya and then come back. Majority of them prefer, let me do online program as I work. I don't leave my work, I still progress in my education mm -hmm. and I'm still working. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in case a student would like to be uh, one of you, mm -hmm. and how, for how long will they study? Uh, for it depends with the course that they are doing. Mm -hmm. For bachelors, we they go for eight semesters. Okay. Eight semesters is equivalent to uh, two and three quarters years mm -hmm. because they go for every year. Mm -hmm. We have three semesters. Mm -hmm. So once you go a whole year, you have already covered three semesters. Mm -hmm. 
So by the time of the third year, you'll be graduating. Okay. And yes. How do you now handle the graduation part, provided that uh, most of your students here in the online study? Uh, for graduation, uh, we we only have one graduation. We only have one graduation in Kenya. It happens in Kenya. We advise them they can go mm. or leave it. Okay. What I do, for example, those students who are graduating, I make arrangements maybe in Kigali because Kigali is near. I get gowns for them, uh, like the ones who graduated last. Uh, that is uh, in December. It, it is two two weeks ago. Uh, we make arrangement with. Kigali uh, people, they send me gowns, mm. uh, you know, they take pictures and then we return the gowns. Mm. That's how we, we usually make it happen. Okay. There are those even who tell you, I don't want to go, I just want to be around. Mm. There are those who will tell you, I just want to go and see Mount Kenya University, I've studied online, mm. let me go and see the university. Okay. Yeah, and they pay ticket and go see Kenya, mm. which is not a bad thing okay. altogether. Okay, and mm. uh, we'll see. And what about the school fee structure? Uh, for school fees, mm -hmm. let me say it is affordable. Okay. It is affordable. I have seen parents take their students to China, to, to Europe, to America to study there. Mm -hmm. And I would advise them, even before you take your, 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 your daughter, your son outside there when they are still young, why don't you explore the uh, schools or universities which are in, uh, in Kenya? Mm -hmm and us being one we are very flexible Mount Kenya is very flexible by the way in terms of payment okay. uh, for payments uh, for example for bachelor's program they range between it depends because we have like medical uh, courses okay. which are a bit higher as compared to other programs like business education and all that but majority of the courses they range between 400 and 500 dollars per per semester ah. so you see so they're usually affordable mm. uh, and the good thing about Mount Kenya we are always considering uh, that a parent might not get the whole amount of fees at the same time and we allow you to pay in installments okay. for example when you join us you can pay uh, 60 percent mm. then pay uh, the other 10 percent 10 percent till you finish your school fees as long as you'll pay before the exam begins mm. and uh, I find it okay yeah. because if, if the parent cannot afford the same and especially those parents who are working, mm. you know, we are paid every month. Mm. So affording maybe that amount as wholesome might be difficult. Yeah. But every month you commit paying some amount, you end up paying your school fees with no difficulties. Mm. Yes. And then uh, you have mentioned about dollars. So does it mean that they, uh, they must pay in dollars or it is just a, a, an assumption of the amount equivalent? With BIF. Okay, when they're studying here, mm. they pay in dollars. Ah, okay. Yes, they pay in dollars, those who are studying online. But if they go, for example, they go to Kigali, they are going to pay in Rwanda and France. Ah. When they go to Kenya, they are going to pay in Kenya shillings. Okay. Yes. Okay. How can you say about uh, the students or let's say someone who has finished mm. schooling and then they are just out, uh, outside there wondering what next mm -hmm. and they just say that uh, I don't think I should return to school. Yeah, I can tell students uh, learning never stops. We learn every day. Uh, it is always good to, you know, add more to knowledge. Sure. Knowledge, it never gets old. Mm. We school, actually we school every day. Either you are schooling in a formal setting, in an informal setting. We are schooling every day. You should never say that if you are not going to come back to school. Uh, it, it builds you. For example, if you did, uh, let me say, like a, a bachelor's degree. Don't get so comfortable. There are people who are doing even PhD. There are people who are becoming professors every day. So you should never become so comfortable. Even if you are doing business, it is always good to advance in... Um, in education okay. we have seen people even who never went to school mm. they started their business the business grow to international level mm. they are wondering how am i going to present myself in the international platform they go back to school and i do study so education never grows old actually you grow old and leave it mm. so it is always good don't procrastinate because procrastination is will always waste your time mm. 
uh, say that I don't have, I know, uh, you know, whatever money you have, start now. Sure. Start now. Mm. Uh, it, it is never late for you again to start. We have even very old people who are studying. Very true. Yeah, doing masters, doing PhD, even others doing bachelors. Mm. They never get tired of learning. So you should never get tired of learning. Whether you have your own business, uh, when you are an entrepreneur, whether you are working, you should never say that you can never study. It is, it is a learning process. Everybody is learning. Every day we are learning. Yes. And uh, now you also said that you are a um, lecturer. Yes. So you are also lecturing in Mount Kenya Mount University. University. Uh -huh. I do lecturing online. We, we usually we are usually given some units to uh, for example I'm been employed as a lecturer by the way mm. uh, my my post is a, a tutorial fellow mm. which is uh, the same as assistant lecturer okay. so when I'm in Kenya I can go to class and do the lecturing mm. in the lecture room mm. uh, but here we usually do it online okay. because now I cannot go to class yeah I'm here throughout mm. so I only do it online okay yes and now uh what other kind of business do you involve yourself into now uh, here in uh, burundi uh -huh. not really a business uh -huh. i do baking but okay. baking is really uh let me say it's more of a uh hobby. a hobby okay yeah it's a talent i, I realized i have mm -hmm. actually it, is, it started in a very funny way mm -hmm. <laughs> tell in us the, about the, <laughs> In the, in the kitchen with my daughter. I, she, when she comes here for holidays, she usually comes for holidays. She got in YouTube and told me, Mom, we are going to do this recipe today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wrote for me the baking, all the items that I did then. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went around. That time I was very new because mm -hmm. it was 2019. I came here in 2018. Ah, okay. I was very new. I didn't know where to shop. We just went around, around. I never knew it. <laughs> people around we went around shops asking for this do you have this do you have this eventually we got all the the baking recipe that we wanted and we went to the kitchen that time even like we didn't have an oven mm. uh, the, the <laughs> funny thing about it so what did you use the traditional way of baking uh, okay. that one of two sufurias mm. one big one with the mchanga down and then you put the that's how it started. Yeah, the, the smaller one with the cake, the, the, now the butter in yeah. the Sephora. That's how it started. Okay. And then that was only for the family consumption. Mm. The first time it came out very well, the second time it was horrible, the third time was horrible. Uh, and then we kept on practicing with her. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I think a hobby was built out of that. Mm. Uh, how it maybe it turned it to be a source of income mm. is through friends. Okay. My friends Irene and Arisha, I can thank them for that. Okay. They gave me a business idea, I didn't, because I used to bake for them. Mm. And uh, one day, Alicia, I baked for them the, the first time I baked for them the birthday mm. cake. Mm. And uh, they told me, Lucy, you can do business out of this. Why are you sleeping on your talents? Mm. From there, an idea was born. Uh -huh. So when I'm not busy, I'm not in office, that is what I do. Okay. Yeah, to, just to keep me busy. Yeah. Most of the time, because I'm alone, yeah. I, I live alone. Yeah. Mm, I, li I don't like being idle. Yeah. So even when I'm not baking for business, I like cooking. So that's why I, I, I started that. Okay. It is more of a, a hobby and maybe an interest I have. Maybe in the future, who knows? Yeah. I can have a business. For cakes, people can always order cakes from me through the number that will run on your screen. 65190095. That is my personal number. You can always get me through that number, the local number. Uh, any customized cake, if you would like to order a customized cake, yeah, you just call us and you are going to and they have sweets those people have made cake they say that they are different mm. so taste and you see the difference okay. with us okay. we are called uh, blessed hands bakers they are blessed hands uh, anyway because okay. when you taste our cakes you are not going to regret about them uh -huh. uh, if you want any custom if you want a picture put on your cake you want uh, anything that you want to be 
put on your cake. We are going to, to do that. I don't hesitate. The last views towards our viewers. The viewers, they are how the viewers? Yeah. Uh, I can tell them she's doing a very wonderful job, especially in Burundi. Um, Raquel, bless it. Please go to her YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe for her. She's, she's new in the market and I know she is doing an amazing job. Visit her videos. I've been watching her. Uh, she is taking us to areas that we have never been in Burundi. And those who are in Burundi, those who are in Kenya, wherever you are, if you want, would like to visit Burundi, I think following her, her channel is going to uh, bring you to Burundi, even uh, without much struggle. Yeah. yeah. For those who would like to join Mount Kenya, kindly visit to our offices. We are at Avenue Dolamitie, ABC Building, Office A7, A8. That's where we are located. Just opposite Isanganero. I think there was Isanganero radio here, or BBCI. That's where we are located. Kindly visit us. Uh, you can also call us through our number. So mm. We are going to. Uh, link the descriptions link yeah. below. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you personally, where can people find you? Uh, um, most of the time, you are going to find me here okay. at ABC building in our offices. Mm. When I'm not in the market, I'm in the office. Okay. When I'm not outside there marketing in the, the university, mm. I'm in the office. This is where you'll find me. If you want to contact me, mm. uh, you can also contact me through 6519. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Zero zero nine five. That is my number. Uh -huh. The local number. And then what is the motto of the school? Uh, let me show you this one. Unlocking mm. mm. infinite possibilities. Infinite, yes. Infinite possibilities. Mm. It has been a very wonderful conversation with Lucy Ngamau here, who is a lecturer at the Mount Kenya University, and she is currently here in Burundi, helping students. Um, the motto is unlocking infinite possibilities for Mount Kenya University where they have intakes for regular learning, part-time, open uh, distance and electronic learning. So if you are in Burundi or uh, any part of the world you are hearing from, you would like to become a student at Mount Kenya University, here is a chance and as she had just said, learning never stops. So guys, until next time, we are out. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much.